My name is Sydney Brannick, and I am a PhD student at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History and Case Western Reserve University. I recently led some research with my co-author and advisor, Dr. Gavin Svensson, looking at a praying mantis genus called Illomantis, which is distributed in Madagascar. This research is novel in that we were able to use female genital characters to not only delimit species within Illomantis, but also resurrect it as a valid genus. These are leaf-dwelling praying mantises that reside within vegetation. So to help them blend in with their habitat, they are flattened, they feature conical eyes, and they have broad wings that resemble leaf venation patterns, and they are greenish in color. By examining female genitalia characters in conjunction with traditional taxonomic data, such as geographic distributional records, external morphological characters, and male genitalia characters, we were able to identify a new species of praying mantis within the genus Illomantis. Illomantis Ginsburgi was named for Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who is the Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. We named it for her in honor of her commitment to women's rights and gender equality. And we also named it for her um, for her appreciation of the jabot, which is a lace fall that drapes around the neck. The holotype for this species was accessioned within the Natural History Museum of Paris, France. It was collected in 1967 in Madagascar. Basically, you can think of a holotype as the ambassador for the species. So its unique combination of characters that it features represents the standard for that species. Traditionally, in prey mantis taxonomy, we use the male genital characters to help delimit and describe new species. However, we were curious to see if we could use female genital characters to do the same thing. So what we did was dissect out the female genitalia and we examined them as potential sites for characters. We actually did find characters in the female genital complex, which enabled us to unambiguously differentiate between the two species of Illomantis, as well as Illomantis from its sister genus, Nilomantis. In the early part of the 20th century, praying mantis taxonomists and researchers were looking equally at male and female genitalia as potential sites for, for taxonomic characters. Basically, they were interested to see if, if they could use the characters found on the genitalia to help differentiate between different species and different groupings of praying mantises. Um, however, they continued to develop the male genital character system because maybe it was easier to dissect, it's a little bit harder and more um, sclerotized, as we would call it, than female genitalia, which tends to be more membranous. Because this research was successful, we are hoping that other scientists will develop and use this character system. It is extremely important to consider both male and female specimens in a wide variety of research disciplines. Taxonomy is no exception to this. If we do not develop a character system for both males and females, then it becomes almost impossible to identify both male and female specimens when collected in the field. Um, this is a problem to this day, where if we collect female specimens, we are unable to determine what species they are because we don't actually have a female character system in place to help delimit species which are very morphologically distinct. This becomes problematic if you are doing biodiversity surveys, ecological surveys, or even if you're a taxonomist like me. And the development of this taxonomic character system is an example of feminist biology.